Second, I consider it to be material, that Section 71 3B makes express provision permitting an order that payments be made to or by the applicant, to or by the solicitor, or to or by the executor, administrator, or trustee which underscores the broader nature of the inquiry under Section 71.3 when compared with an assessment under Section 70 or Section 71.1. Third, it seems appropriate that separate consideration should be given to the position of the beneficiary and the estate in circumstances where the executor trustee carries no risk because of their ability to pay the solicitor out of the trust property. Fourth, the decisions in In, Re, Brown and Hazard v Lane both contemplated and allowed the beneficiary to challenge the bill, even though an executor had approved it. For a full summary of this case, visit tmclegal.co.uk.